So um, this um, is good for demonstration uh, of what it took to um, basically put together, right? Put together just uh, three of these, uh, uh, three of these. Uh, Uh, three of these uh, classes, right? And then be able to uh, essentially, um, so we have, uh, uh, we have first uh, collect, uh, collected information for the pet owner, right? Then we ask how many pets would you like to enter? We then ask for information for each individual pet. We add pet to the collection of uh, this vector of pets inside the pet owner. So the pet owner really has a number of pets as a result. And then, of course, we create pet license. And this is our business object, which knows how to do the calculation based on information that's being entered. And then, so then we call calculate fee, and then we call print. Uh, and we get those results that we get, okay? And so uh, a few observations, I think, uh, that I would like to make about the, this code. So if, if I look at, the, um, at my uh, header file where these classes are declared, right? So, so far I've declared a pet, then I declared a pet owner, then I declared pet license, Right, and uh, that's that's pretty much it. What I have um, right now, uh, but uh, if I look at this code, it looks fairly standard, right? So this is not uh, uh, something uh, difficult to uh, digest or or walk through because uh, every class that I've I've used here has a very very standard appearance, right? So at the top of the class, there's a name. Okay, and that's the name of, of the new, newly defined uh, user-defined type, right? Uh, then there are some variables that we store the data attributes or, or data members that we store with each instance of, of a class such as pet, right? And then we provide a set of operations like constructor, print, me, uh, print uh, a member function, and similarly here, just set of data, right? A name of the class, a constructor, and then a list of operations. Similarly here, uh, some constant data that we use to uh, that reflect our business rules, right? So that's why those pieces where I made them constant, okay? And then some data that we use here, and then eventually the uh, uh, the constructor and then uh, the operations. Um, I think that uh, what um, what would be a really good thing is to observe like the next step, next iteration in the development of this application, is to perhaps identify which operations like print should be treated as constant operations, right? operations that are not affecting the content of our class. I'm not going to do it today because I would like to essentially, um, you know, uh, uh, keep it moving just to, just to talk about what possibilities exist. But this is the next step, the next iteration of what we should consider. Like, for instance, a call to a senior citizen does not change anything in, in that class. So these operations should be made constant. But not not yet. I am. I will keep this uh, as a as the next uh, uh, set of activity. Perhaps we can quickly do it next week. Not not right now. Okay. So I will just get rid of this. And we talked about the constant member functions and and uh, the idea of uh, of adding constant uh, qualifiers everywhere we want. Um, or rather, every, every, anywhere we can, because this allows compiler to make code safer 
and uh, uh, also opens the door for all kinds of optimizations. Because anything that is made constant, a uh, compiler can quickly make a lot of assumptions and really do elimination of otherwise unnecessary uh, pieces. And so that will be a set of activity for another series of development here. Okay, so that is something to just to make a note that 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 is yet to come that we want to uh, to to do these types of um, additions and 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 changes in the code to designate everything to be const if it can can be made const. Uh, then so uh, besides that, my header file looks okay. I am not really disappointed by any of what I have done so far. Uh, main function, I already made a note, right, that uh, perhaps all this user interaction with those little variables and little little back and forth, sin, see out, sin, see out uh, statements, maybe they don't belong in main. And I need to think uh, about like how to reduce main to maybe just a set of function calls and, uh, and move this user interaction out to maybe separate functions. So that's yet something else for me to think about. But it's not really terrible because it's pretty much straightforward. There isn't really anything that uh, makes it difficult to maintain this bar, right? So if I wanted to change some message here, um, I can just locate it rather quickly and make my change. So that does not pre present a, a huge challenge or, or, or you know, difficulty. So uh, it's more or less okay. We can tolerate the, you know, the, the code here, arguably, right? So at least we have complete understanding of it. So let's take a look at the pet license file, implementation file. So constructors are okay. Some of these operations uh, look pretty, pretty standard, I guess. Um, the only thing that really becomes quickly becomes unmanageable, quickly becomes difficult, is this calculate fee, right? I was thinking about just a number of uh, reasonable, you know, components in this business logic that, that deals with all kinds of fees and discounts, but look, uh, when I try to write the real code, look how many uh, if L, if L statements and all kinds of conditions and even like temporary variables that I wanted to use to, to keep track of cats because, uh, uh, you know, because of this, uh, this situation with cats that I don't want to charge per each cat rather per a number of cats and uh, all, uh, all kinds of other, other fees. And uh, uh, there are two problems here. Difficulty number one, it is difficult to validate, is it correct or not? To be able to conclude that this entire function does the right thing, okay, we need to, well, we can test it, but if we find a problem with it, in order to be able to fix a problem, we have to analyze every single line in this function, be, and essentially memorize all of, of, all, all of its steps, before we can make the next step and make a correction or make a change or add another fee or another discount and so forth and so forth. So this really becomes a significant concern if you look at this specific function. So the question is, the question is, uh, how could we make this calculate fee better? What could be made better? Right? So far, we have everything was implemented uh, in a straightforward manner. Number one, we just essentially, uh, we take a look at the, at the owner, whether it's a senior citizen, apply standard discount. This part looks okay. I, I don't think this is problematic. But when it gets to, to each single pet, that we're trying to access, all of a sudden there's this slur of you know all kinds of uh, uh, if else uh, conditions and other other things. So I think that uh, one thing that can be improved greatly is that if all of this logic right that belongs to dealing with dogs or all of other type of logic that deals with cats, if somehow it was pushed out of this method, 
right? And given as a responsibility to a, uh, to a pet class, right? To this pet class. But just besides shifting this responsibility for this low-level computation specific to dogs or cats, maybe we can figure out to do something like this. Maybe instead of having just, uh, just a, a single pet class, right? maybe somehow we could make a class of cats and a class of dogs. Okay, So cat and dog could be made separate classes responsible for storing uh, appropriate information about cats and dogs. Right? And so then um, maybe we can create basically a relationship here between pet and cat and dog and so that when we create an instance of a cat we create this object an instance of a cat when we need to create a dog we can create a an instance of a dog and then um, when we do the compu computation in this loop uh, that would be nice to have something like this instead of saying what kind of pet this is it would be nice to basically say something like uh, pet uh, compute um, or calculate whatever whatever we say here uh, calculate fee right w would be nice to be able to reduce this entire thing simply to this basically uh, total fee okay total fee uh, plus equals uh, pet calculate fee. So imagine if instead of doing all of this, the only statement that we had to have here would be just this, like accumulate total, like keep growing the total, and all we have to do is just basically tell pet, you compute the fee which you think is appropriate for, for you know, your, your inclusion in this license. Right, so this is going to be our next stage, uh, our next stage, and uh, uh, the interesting part of it is that right now we're very heavily relying on the pet type. We say if dog do this, otherwise over here if it's a cat do something different, okay, do something different. But what we're going to do, we're going to take it to the next level and say that we're going to essentially. Um, give this logic to a to a dog and we are going to give this logic to a cat and for this we will create two new uh, classes right we will create uh, cat and dog but we still need to be able to maintain a list of both um, uh, we need to be able to maintain a list of uh, rather we use it uh, we use a vector here in the pet owner right so we need to still be able to populate uh, our vector of pets with both uh, cats and dogs and be able to access all of them and store them all in this vector so there is a there is this new uh, uh, if you will uh, mm, uh, level to which we would like to take this application is to be able to essentially uh, include um, uh, include the hierarchy of uh, cats, uh, dogs, and pets in our application because we can say that uh, we can say that pet owner has uh, a, ser uh, a sequence of pets. We we'll already do this because we have a vector of pets which belongs to you know to this class named pet owner in our application. It's a vector of pets. But additionally, we can say that, uh, and again, this should go in the direction of this arrow, right? So if I use the arrow uh, here, I can say that cat is a pet and dog also is a pet. Uh, is a pet, and if that's the case we should be able to, uh, our, our next uh, stage of coverage in this class is that we're going to start focusing on the functionality uh, and on the relationship, new type of relationship between classes right here, right? And this will be referred to as 
uh, inheritance model that cat will be inheriting from a pet and dog will be inheriting from a pet. And when we say something like this, uh, a pet calculate fee, the message to calculate fee will be delegated to the right type of object, whether it's being a cat or dog. So that is going to be our next stage. So the plan is that the current version of this application will be posted and then we will deal with those new challenges that we would like to, as much as possible, um, simplify this messy implementation of this fee computation and the set of facilities that I just mentioned, inheritance of classes and further along the road, uh, virtual functions uh, will simplify this logic and will give us a chance to improve this application in a great way and make it also more maintainable. So that's all for this, um, uh, for this Monday. I will see you guys in a week. Happy Thanksgiving. Thank you.